Hello everybody, hello and welcome to another Pixel Wells tutorial. My name is Jake and I am the community manager here at Pixel Wells headquarters and today we are going to take a look at and or and not gates and what they do. Uh, first, of course, we are going to need to buy them from the shop, so going to the wiring section and here we can see and gate. Let's buy an AND gate, and uh, then, of course, an OR gate, and uh, then a NOT gate. Last time, in our last tutorial, we already used a NOT gate. So let's open up the wiring tool and let's see. So here we go, there is a NOT gate right here, and uh, what it does is it transforms the signal from ON to OFF or OFF to ON that it r is right here. So when we press the button, it is going to uh, change that signal to off state. All right, so that is the basic uh, premise and how basically you use a NOT gate. We also build this security system. So whenever somebody comes to our well, so let's respawn to just show this. Uh, we come here, the proximity sensor goes off and of course the warning light will start uh, playing right here. So now, of course, this might be a little bit annoying that all the time, every time um, somebody comes to our world, this happens. So we might want to turn our security system off from time to time, but we, of course, uh, don't want to destroy the whole thing and then connect it once again and, you know, all that kind of jazz. So what we are going to use here is the AND gate and create an ON-OFF switch for our warning system. So for that, we are going to need another switch. So we're going to go to the wiring. Um, we can use a basic switch or wooden lever. They're basically the same thing. We haven't used this one, so we're going to use that. We're going to place this basic switch, for example, right here. And we are going to disconnect this from the proximity sensor. Now we are going to place the AND gate. We can place it anywhere. Uh, but uh, why don't we just to save space and make it a little bit more tidier, we're going to place it right above that um, warning light. So you can place this on top of blocks as well. So now what we are going to do, we're first going to connect this uh, proximity sensor to that AND gate and this switch to that AND gate and then the AND gate to this uh, warning light. Now, what this AND gate does is when the both signals coming from this one, the proximity sensor, and also from the switch, when the both of them are on, it will start uh, uh, transmitting on signal forward from his own output. For, or it's, it's not a person. So, all right. First, let's turn this on. We can see it turns on, but still this doesn't turn on. But when we now go near this proximity sensor, it will start playing it. As you guys can see, this also will turn on and, uh, of course, the warning light will play. But now if we want to turn our warning system off, we just turn this switch off. And now even if we go here and the proximity sensor goes on, ah, it, does, it does not do anything. So yeah, it's good. It does not work. So this is like a master switch in this case. And of course, now it works. So that is the basic use of AND gate. So it takes two inputs, like you can see there are two uh, blue little circles right there and one red that of course a little bit bigger because you can in the end you can connect eight outputs like we saw in the last video to any of these uh, gates or even switches. Then what we are going to show next is the OR gate. To demonstrate this OR gate, we are going to need a few more switches. So we're going to go here. We could also buy pressure pads, proximity sensors, anything. Anything works here, but I'm just going to buy a few of these wooden levers. And uh, then let's take the wooden lever right here and place them right here. And now what we need to do is connect these to the OR gate. Now, if you remember what we just did with the AND gate, so it transmits the ON signal after both of them, both of these um, that are coming to its inputs are green or ON, it will start working. But what makes this different, why don't we use this um, ON OFF light right here, for example. Uh, we're going to connect this to here. OR gate means that it needs only one, so OR. OR one or two input is ON and it will transmit 
on signal. So, uh, well, I'm gonna show this to you. So, when I turn this on, it will start transmitting on signal. Now, if I turn this on as well, it will still be on. If I turn this off, it will still be on. Now that everything is off that is transmitting a signal to this one, then its output will also be off. And next, I'm going to show you guys a little bit more complex uh, example what to do with these gates. So think about this as part of, for example, your own parkour. So now what we're going to do, I am going to connect this button to a NOT gate, then the NOT gate to these constant flame traps that you can get uh, right now after the update from the item packs, boosters, and uh, there is this platform booster. You can find these traps from here. Let's close it up and uh, connect these. And now it's connected. Like you guys see right now, if we come here, uh, we see that, okay, we, we cannot go past this. We just, we are going to die if we try to do that. But then uh, we can find this button. There is, for example, a quest sign saying that, hey, you need to find this button. And then after you press that button, you can run through to the next level. But yeah, then we can press this button and uh, run across this. So let's hit it. Then we can run and we're completely safe. And after a while, it will once again go there and activate. Okay, so now we can make this example a little bit more complicated. So that we need another player's help or we need to do another task to make this work. So what we are going to need for that is, of course, another button and then an AND gate. So let's buy a basic button. There we go. And then also an AND gate. We could also do this with pressure pads and this kind of stuff. But um, that requires something else as well. We're going to take a look at it a little bit later on, on later tutorials. Okay, so now we're going to disconnect from that button. And let's add another button, for example, right here. Now we are going to connect both of these buttons to this AND gate. And this AND gate to the NOT gate. And not to, of course, these constant flame traps. And now for us to get through these, what we need to do is, of course, hit both of these buttons. Like you guys can see, yeah, it doesn't work. If we press this one, it does not work. But now, if we then hit both buttons, and then we can run through, and it's gonna be good. After a while, it will start flaming again. So we could use pressure pads as well, for example, another player standing on them and uh, then it would be good. Now, what we are going to do next, we are going to do an OR gate and make it just a tiny bit more complicated. So, an OR gate, and uh, then what are we going to do? We're gonna place the OR gate right above this AND gate, and then let's hit both of these. Let's go here, and we're gonna buy a pressure pad, so item packs wiring and then a pressure pad right here and okay we're gonna add it here Con disconnect this not gate from this and gate we're gonna place to the or and uh, play it. then connect that to the not gate but on top of that we are going to connect this pressure pad also to the not or gate so what this means is that either these two need to, needs to be on or this needs to be on. So what this will do is that we can then go here. I'm going to show you the wires and how they uh, react um, when we are on the other side and do it again. So let's press these. It will close down. And now we can go through. But if we need to help other friends to go through as well, we could just jump on this. Hello there. We can just jump on this pressure pad and it will deactivate the whole thing um, until we, of course, get out of that. Remember, pressure pads are almost instant, so they're not like um, these buttons. So now we can take a look at the wires and go here and uh, let's hit these. So on and on and uh, it will deactivate these. But we can also walk on top of this and if we stand here, it doesn't matter if these go off, it will still stay on and the, uh, these won't work. And when we, of course, yeah, it will work. 
So you can create a lot of cool stuff with these gates and make a lot more complicated parkours. Parkours where you need um, a lot of people to, for example, do something together. Or, well, I can show you one really cool example that I was building that you guys probably have seen in our Instagram. But let's jump into that world real quick. So this is my world calculator and... Uh, here we have actually number, um, like, display, I would say. So, like you guys can see, depending on where these are, um, in what stage these switches are, it will display a different number. So, one, two, zero, or three. And this is actually a calculator, so it calculates it into that in binary format. But you guys can actually see the numbers here. And uh, this is completely done with and or and and or and not gates. I'm gonna show you this and I'm gonna leave you guys pondering how complicated this can go. Remember, this is like super complicated and end game stuff. It shows what is actually possible. So let's open up with the wiring tool and you can see there's a lot of stuff happening. So when we hit these and the numbers change, yeah, a lot of different stages and uh, well, it works. <laughs> it works. Thank you very much, guys, for being here and watching this tutorial about and, or, and not gates. I know this calculator is a little bit complicated and, uh, yeah, you don't need to know that much stuff to get everything rolling. But it kind of shows what is actually possible. But thank you very much, guys, for watching this and I'll see you in the next one. And, of course, I'll see you in Pixel Worlds.